Man, these single mothers really mess these boys up. I want everyone to take a critical examination of this video of this beta male teenager making a proposal to his high school sweetheart before she goes to college. And as you take a look at this video, you're going to find numerous things wrong with this marriage proposal. And I'm going to go in depth on what's wrong with that proposal after you watch this video. Uh, yeah. oh. You don't want to be with nobody else but you, baby. Be quiet, Mark. Okay, I'm trying to start them off. Shit. But you. We're going to be no faithful. Oh, yes. We're not going to break us up. And it's just. Look at my ass, baby. That's true. Oh my God. Oh, you know how this goes? You got a middle finger? No. Right here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Now, if you look at the initial start of the video, it's clear that this boy just isn't ready for any type of relationship. And the reason why I say he's not ready for any type of relationship is because he's too emotional. And a man cannot be so caught up in his emotions when he's in a relationship because when he is caught up in his emotions, that's something a woman is going to use to take advantage of him. So a guy has to be in control of himself when he's dealing with any woman in a social interaction. Because if a woman sees a guy getting emotional like this, she's going to perceive it as weakness. And she's going to see this guy as somebody she can use as a tool and somebody she can take advantage of in the future. Uh. Yeah. Oh. You don't want to be with nobody else but you, baby. Be quiet, Mark. Now, as I continue to watch this video of this dysfunctional proposal, I notice that this boy was not in a position to make any sort of proposal of marriage. And the main reason why he was not in a position to make a proposal of marriage, in addition to being emotional, was the fact that he was not in a leadership position. Now, as I took a critical examination of that video, I noticed that as this boy was getting emotional, it was his mother telling him what to do. And when a boy has his mother telling him what to do, it shows that he is not developed into a healthy form of manhood. Because a healthy man is one who can go out here and make his own decisions, and he does not need to be prodded on or nagged on by his mother. A weak man needs his mother to tell him what to do, and when a man has his mother telling him what to do in front of a group of people, this is basically emasculating that boy right in front of everyone, and it makes him look extremely weak, especially to the woman he was making the proposal to. Because as he made his proposal, you could also notice in her body language, she was practically embarrassed for him. And the reason why she was embarrassed for him was because he was not taking control of the situation. He was not in a leadership position and he was not the one dictating the terms. No, he was being dictated to. And I talk about this in The Man Crisis, my book, about how these males, they just don't understand how their relationship between their mother is different than the relationship they have with their girlfriend. And in that part of the video, we see that this boy didn't really understand that there was a clear difference between the relationship between a girlfriend and a mother, because if he did, he would understand that when he's with his girlfriend, 
he needs to be in a leadership position. And the reason why he needs to be in a leadership position is because this is the only way he will be seen as someone his girlfriend will respect. Because when a woman sees a man going out here and being led by another woman, then she does not see that man as a man. She sees that man as a weakling, and she sees that man as someone she does not need to respect. And in order to go out here and build a relationship, you need to have a woman respect, and a woman needs to respect you because that's the only way she's going to follow your lead, and that's the only way she's going to be able to move on to love and trust. Unfortunately, this young boy is still caught up in teenage love, and teenage love is primarily all about emotions, but never understanding the foundations and structures of a relationship. And that's clear from what I saw in this video regarding this boy not understanding that when you make a proposal to a woman, you go out here as a man, and you do it on your terms. And when you're doing it on your terms, you are the one setting the tone for the relationship, you're setting the direction for the relationship, and this is what the woman sees as something she respects about you because you're taking initiative on your own, and you're the one who's say, saying to her, I am going to be the one who leads the relationship, I'm the one who's going to be responsible in the relationship, and I'm the one who's going to look out for both of us in the relationship. And that's why I'm proposing to you to be my partner in this relationship. And a pro that's why a proposal is something a man and a woman do in private. And the reason why they make that proposal in private is because that man wants to show that woman he's ready to lead. And he also wants it to be something that when he makes that proposal, he can get a clear assessment of how she responds to his proposal because that's going to show him how the relationship is going to go if they start to go out here and commit to each other seriously. Now, also in the video, you also have to notice the girl's nonverbal cues as he's making his proposal. And as I was studying her nonverbal cues, which is related to her body language, it's clear to me that this girl really was not interested in this proposal. Because when you look at her body language and her facial expressions, she's clearly turned off. And she was turned off because she saw, one, the weakness of this beta male being displayed as his mother was leading him, and two, she saw the complete emotional state of this male, and because she saw the complete emotional state of this male, she saw a male she had no respect or no regard for. And in my book, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, I talk about studying nonverbal cues as related to body language and facial expressions in women because this is a valuable tool to let you know whether or not this woman is engaged because women are emotional and because they're emotional you can automatically start to see their reactions to whatever you're going to say or whatever they're going whatever you're going to do and if she's not engaged then it's clear there that there she's not interested and in many cases, she will just go through the motions just to get you out of her hair. And that's what's happening right here in this video of this so-called proposal. This girl is not engaging with this guy in an emotional way. She's not expressing happiness or expressing joy because if a girl is getting proposed to, she's going to be really excited about getting proposed to and she's practically going to be all over a dude. But in this case, this this girl is subdued, and because she's subdued, she's not into this. She's going, and again, putting on, pasted on expressions, but you can tell from the way she's holding her head, she's just not into this guy. 
and she's practically in her mind practically moved on because she is no not emotionally engaged and because she's not emotionally engaged she'll sit there put on some pasted on looks take all his ring and go through these motions but there's no engagement or commitment and this guy he's just completely caught up in his emotions that he's oblivious to her body language and facial expressions and because he's not paying attention to how she's behaving he's being set up for a, a disaster later on and as you further look at the close of the video you can see how emotionally disconnected this girl is because she didn't hug him back and when a girl again is into a guy she's not just going to hug him she's going to hug him tightly when he makes a marriage proposal she's not going to just be sitting there letting him do all of the hugging because that just shows how she's just not into this guy and it's clear from the whole video this girl just isn't into this guy but sadly he can't connect the dots and see that this girl isn't into him at all now when I take again another critical examination of this whole video it reminds me a lot of a couple of episodes in the Fox sitcom that 70s show and in that show in the later seasons Eric Foreman decided to buy his girlfriend Donna a promise ring and as he was working at Pricemark he was making payments on this promise ring in an effort to keep Donna in a relationship that had already deteriorated because she had already had a relationship with another guy Luke Wilson was Luke Wilson was playing and when I looked at that episode at, at, at this scene it reminded me a lot of those episodes of that 70s show and when I looked at this whole scenario it was just like Eric Foreman he was not making the proposal because he was in love with Donna and wanted to lead Donna and set a direction for Donna no he was making the proposal out of insecurity and because he was insecure about the status of his relationship he wanted to go out here and try to secure that relationship in an effort to maintain his world now Hyde on that 70s show had warned Eric that he was just trying to seal the deal and Eric got emotional and told him to shut up in a very angry way but Hyde understood that this relationship just wasn't going to work and he understood that trying to close a deal on a relationship with a promise ring that was coming from a position of weakness because a promise ring is something that a weak dude tries to do in order to secure a relationship with a female who clearly is getting ready to move on because you're trying to make a promise of marriage in the future but that's not something a man does when a man sees a woman who he wants to have a relationship with he's not wasting time with a promise ring no a man who wants a relationship with a woman he's going to go out here and he's going to make his proposal of marriage straightforward and upfront and both that man and that woman are going to agree to the terms of having that marriage and they don't need any sort of government system to make that relationship secure no that man and that woman are going to make that relationship and the reason why they're going to make that relationship is because that woman sees a man excuse me in front of her and when she sees a man in front of her she sees somebody she respects she sees somebody whose lead she wants to follow and she sees somebody who she wants to build with and she sees somebody who she wants to start a family with and this boy clearly shows me from the video he just isn't ready for a relationship just yet and the reasons why he's not ready for a relationship just yet are clearly shown because when you have a boy 
too caught up in his emotions. He's not in a good place to be able to control himself and navigate through those emotions where he thinks instead of acting on things. And if this w woman pushes him too far, he's going to wind up doing something he regrets or saying something he regrets. And when you're emotional like this, again, you are in a place where a woman can use you and take advantage of you. And that's not a good place for you to be in because you're going to go from the codependent relationship you have with your mother to a codependent relationship with a girlfriend. And most girlfriends don't want to deal with a male who is so weak that she has all the power in the relationship because that's very frustrating for a girl who's looking for a partner to lead her when she has to lead him. And it's very frustrating and overwhelming to deal with a man who cannot make good decisions because he's not in a place where he knows who he is. And this boy clearly does not know who he is. He just wants to get involved with this girl because it's the emotional thing, his emotions being attached to her, but he's not ready for a man relationship with a woman, and that's clearly shown right here in this video. And also what's shown here is that this boy does not understand the concept of respect, because if he understood the concept of respect, he would have looked at this girl's body language and nonverbal cues and understood that he was not being respected, and because he doesn't have any respect from his mother, and he does not have any respect from his girlfriend, he's not in a good place for going out here to propose marriage, because again, a marriage is an interdependent partnership, and both partners have to be ready to take on their roles in order to make that relationship work. A woman has to be ready to submit to that man's leadership and authority as a helpmeet and a support, and the man has to be ready to take on his role as leader and steward under God's natural order. And it's clear to me that this male is not ready to take on the role of leader and steward in the relationship under God's natural order because he's so busy submitting to the women that he's not understanding that he needs to start learning how to be a man. And I see a boy right here who desperately needs to be in the presence of responsible men in the community, men who can teach him male life skills and male survival skills, because this male, as he was being led by these females, was being embarrassed and emasculated, and he didn't understand how the way he was presenting himself just wasn't a good look. Because, again, when you have your mother standing there telling you what to say and what to do in front of your girlfriend, your girlfriend does not see you as a man she can respect or regard. And this woman was getting ready to go to college. So when she looked at that proposal, she did not look at it as a man coming to look to build with her. No, she's looking at that proposal as something coming from an insecure beta male like Eric Foreman on that 70s show, looking to hold on to his girlfriend like a teddy bear or a security blanket. And if a girl is looking at you as an insecure and weak male, she's not looking at you as somebody she respects. Yes, she'll go through the motions like this girl did in the video, accepting this promise ring, which is nothing more than BS. And then she'll go on to that college campus in the fall and meet some older fraternity guys, some jocks if this is a school with sports, and she's going to practically go on this campus and practically get her back blown out by these jocks, these fraternity guys, and even some of these guys who are older like these seniors and may po maybe possibly some of these college professors. Because when you have a female who is expressing 
those facial expressions like I've seen right there, that's a female who is not engaged in the relationship and she's looking towards the future. And this girl is looking to the future with some other guy, but this guy doesn't understand that the relationship was over for her in her head probably weeks or months ago, and he's still trying to hold on to her, not understanding there's nothing to hold on to, because with teenage love, teenage love always ends around the end of high school, because you're growing and changing into somebody else, and when you grow and change into somebody else, you are growing apart. And this is a hard lesson that this young man is going to learn the hard, hard way because his mother is still got him with the apron strings attached, and he's not learning the way to be a man and the way to deal with relationships as a man because he still thinks that most women are just like his mother, and he still thinks that he can treat women just like his mother, and that's shown from the henpeck way he was behaving in this video. This is a beta male who's going to learn, again, learn some hard and painful lessons unless he has a male intervention and has men to sit down and talk to him and get him to understand that a lot of the behaviors he's participating in are not good looks for him and are not going to benefit him in the long term. This, this young man is really being set on a bad road because you look at this guy, again, making a proposal in front of his mother, something you're supposed to do in private with your woman because that shows how you're a leader. She's doing it in front of his mother and his mother is leading the whole thing. Again, that's not how you get your woman's respect because your relationship with your woman is different from that from your mother and you need to show how you can be a leader and how you're going to set a tone for the relationship because when you make that proposal on your own you're saying hey I'm a man I'm choosing my own partner and I am taking the lead in the relationship and if she wants to be a partner in my relationship and wants to follow my lead in this relationship then she's gonna go and say yes or if she doesn't want to follow my lead then she can go on about her business if she says no but if you go out here like this dude, this is just some weak stuff. And again, a promise ring is one of the weakest things a guy could do because you're asking a girl to make a promise to you while she's far, far away. And that's just ridiculous because when the female is hypergamous, she's going to see these other guys. And if she sees these other guys, she's going to want those other guys, especially if those guys out there are what she considers guys that she would find more attractive, like these fraternity guys, these jocks, and even some of these IT guys. She's looking at a smorgasbord of guys who she thinks are going to be more high status and more to what she thinks is her liking as she's growing on that campus. So this guy, again, he's coming from that place of insecurity. He's coming from that place of weakness, and he needs to learn that when a girl wants to go away to college, this is when you break up with her. Yes, it may hurt in the short term, but in the long term, you're going to build a stronger discipline and resolve. And if that girl really is serious, she's going to want to either start to commit to you and want a relationship with you, and she's go or she's just going to go on that campus and go out here and be with whoever she wants to be. But this guy is setting himself up for a huge disaster because he's got this promise ring on this girl's finger and either he's going to wind up getting played when she decides to send him a letter telling him how the relationship isn't working out, how she's not happy, and how she's grown and changed into a different person. That's the kind of letter he's going to get sooner rather than later and he's going to get dumped sooner rather than later because he, his head is not in the game, and he's not understanding that when she goes off to college, in many cases, that's when you decide to put an end to the relationship, because if she's going out here and being around these other guys, then you need to let her go and be who she wants to be, and then you start focusing 
on developing yourself further as a man because you can't develop yourself as a man as long as you're pining for a girl that you had a relationship with in high school. And as I take a final look at that video, I clearly see a boy who clearly needs some of my books on male issues, such as Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, because he needs to learn about the simp paradigm, and he needs to learn about all of the mistakes he's making as related to relationships. And that book, I believe, would be something that this boy could really get something out of. And I, rec I hope that this boy, somebody sends him a link to Stop Simpin' because he desperately needs that book. And he also needs to go pick up The Man Crisis because clearly, from what I saw in that video, this is a boy in crisis. And this boy is in crisis because he's not learning the male life skills and male survival skills that he needs. And he's turning into one of these beta males who is just too emotionally attached to his mother. And that's going to do damage to this boy in the future because he's not learning the coping skills that he'll need to survive. And that's shown from the way he handled this extremely dysfunctional situation because this marriage proposal was just absolutely embarrassing for me to watch as a man. Now, if you want to learn more about male life skills and male survival skills, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. And if you want to learn more about the simp paradigm, you can pick up my book, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, on Amazon.com, Smashwords, the iBook Store, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for the first time on Google Play, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are falling apart in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy on Google Play today.